Hi Boxers, welcome back to my channel. You should be so excited for the new Unreal Engine 5 that is an incredible tool and includes new features as Nanit, Metasound and more. In this video I will try the new Unreal Engine 5 importing assets from a previous project and then we will also see difference between the editors. The new Unreal Engine looks very similar to Unity, we got a dark modern interface with new icons and new style. A few things changed visually but a lot of them are still the same. I will try my avatar hang made with MetaHuman and Substance Painter. Avatar hang comes from a project that I made in Unreal Engine 4, so I need to migrate it and the engine will ask you about plugins to set, you just need to enable them and to restart the engine and then everything will be ready. It happens when you edit a MetaHuman for the first time. In a real engine 4, Pixel and Unreal was linked but still separated, and now comes the pain. I downloaded my favorite assets, so now they are ready to be imported, but I cannot use them in a real engine 5 because this software requires new specific files. The Pixel bridge that is separated from a real engine 5 is not linked to it anymore. The plugin is available only for previous versions of Unreal. That's because Unreal Engine 5 has its own Quixel bridge inside the software. You can find it in the content tab. But your local assets aren't here, because Unreal Engine 5 is showing us only the assets that it downloaded from the engine. Unreal Engine 5 is an amazing tool, but that thing can be an annoying issue from a lot of people that need to keep a local asset library in their computer. I am having connection issues this evening, so I will create a level in Unreal Engine 4 and then I will import it in Unreal Engine 5. I am going to use both the engine to show you the difference between the Quixel Bridge softwares. Using the new Quixel Mixel tool, you will be able to add new models and new materials to the Quixel Bridge, so you will get your model inside the engine, ready to use in no time. Actually, I am creating a volumetric sky inside Unreal Engine 5 and then I'll import here the new level. I am finishing details using the mega scan inside the new Unreal. The new bridge assets are both powerful and user-friendly because they are natively integrated in the software. And here we are! Now we got Avatar End and this map rendering in real time inside Unreal Engine 5. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching, I'll see you next time!